Hello. Today is the Feast of St. Joseph, and therefore it's a great day to give you some good news. We wish to help you connect with God, one another, and us. Because of the health directives at these times, we cannot touch, but we can stay in touch. Since Monday, we have been working on ways to offer you spiritual and pastoral care, and here are some of the opportunities that we have created for you. The most important part of my message today is to alert you to our website, stphilip.org, which is the primary way for us to stay connected. Our broadcast schedule currently is as follows. Daily Mass, which you're going to see in a few moments, will be broadcast from noon, at noon, Monday through Saturday. Sunday Mass broadcast is on Sunday mornings at 8 a.m. On Thursday night, beginning tonight, we'll have a guided meditation at 7 p.m. Fridays during Lent, the Stations of the Cross at 7 p.m. The church is open for you every day from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., Monday through Saturday. On Sunday, the church is open from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Exposition of the Blessed Sacrament is every day from 12 to 3 p.m., and you may visit the church during those hours whenever you wish. Many new programs are being developed for our website, and we're moving as quickly as we can. For example, up-and-coming events, the Rosary, the Chaplet of Divine Mercy, Benediction, future Bible study, many things are possible. Now please note that online we will continue to publish our bulletin with the Mass intentions which are being offered at Daily Mass and the Weekend Mass. Please join us to receive key communications by entering your email on the website that says Key to Communication. I will email you only when we have some news or new opportunities, so please join us at the website, check it, and finally, hello to our school children who are watching today as part of our religion class on this Feast of St. Joseph. We miss you and we pray for you. And now, the Mass on the Feast of St. Joseph. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves for the celebration of this Holy Eucharist, let us go to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrary of heart. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth and peace, peace to people, people of goodwill. We praise you, you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great, great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by St. Joseph's intercession, your Church may constantly watch over the unfolding of the mysteries of human salvation, whose beginnings you entrusted to his faithful care. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Samuel. <clears throat> the Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go tell my servant David, when your time comes and you rest with your ancestors, 
I will raise up your heir after you, and I will make his kingdom firm. It is he who shall build a house for my name, and I will make his royal throne firm forever. I will be a father to him, and he shall be like a son to me. Your house and your kingdom shall endure forever before me. Your throne shall stand firm forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response, the promises of the Lord I will sing forever. The promises, the promises of the, the Lord, Lord I, I will, will sing, sing forever. forever. The promises of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said my kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. The promises of the Lord I will sing forever. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David my servant. Forever will I confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. The promises, promises of, the of the Lord, Lord I, will I will sing, sing forever. forever. He shall save me. You are my father, my God, my rock, my savior. Forever I will maintain my kindness toward him and my covenant with him will stand firm forever. The promises of the Lord I will sing forever. <clears throat> A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, it was not through the law that the promise was made to Abraham and his descendants, but that he would inherit the world, but through the righteousness that comes through faith. And for this reason, it depends on faith, so that it may be a gift and the promise may be guaranteed to all his descendants, not to those who only adhere to the law, but to those who follow the faith of Abraham. As it is written, I have made you the father of many nations. He is our father in the sight of God, in whom he believed, who gives life to the dead and calls into being what does not exist. He believed, hoping against hope, that he would become the father of many nations, according to what was said, thus shall your descendants be, that is why it was created and credited to him as righteousness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. <clears throat> Jacob was the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who is called the Christ. Now this is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary into your home, for it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him, and took his wife into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When uh, Father Matt and I started to work together, <clears throat> he said to me, your name is Joseph. Yes, it's true. He said, so I pray to St. Joseph every day uh, that you will become more and more like St. Joseph. So as we were preparing for this Mass today, I said to him, on this feast of St. Joseph, would you tell me what quality of St. Joseph you're asking him to develop or instill in me? And he said, well, that's very simple. St. Joseph is the only one in the scripture who never spoke a word. Great, right? So uh, it's a funny story, I think. 
uh, and I know he was probably only kidding. However, words are very important, and I think especially in this uh, difficult time, we recognize that how we speak about what's happening and how we speak to each other since we're in closer quarters becomes uh, very important to us. Our words of kindness, our encouragement, uh, our attempts to be patient even when we're all in stress, these are gifts we can give to each other. We can be love in action through our words and very often by withholding our words, if you know what I mean. So uh, that's part of the opportunity we have to be loving and to be Christ for one another. St. Joseph is not quoted in the scriptures, but I'm sure that he spoke many words of encouragement to uh, his wife Mary and uh, Jesus. So that's a lesson for us uh, today. So truly we can ask St. Joseph to help us to um, watch our words and know the value that they have to bring God's love uh, to other people. In a similar way, uh, words also imply listening, and Joseph was a good listener. We hear in the scripture today that when he's spoken to in a dream, he hears these words which give us great comfort. Uh, and every time an angel appears in the scriptures, they always say the same thing that was said to St. Joseph, do not be afraid. It's a reminder that God was with Joseph, other saints throughout time, and with us today. We can hear God in the stillness of our heart when we stop our words and be quiet. We can hear God whisper to us, do not be afraid. So why don't we just take a quick moment, close our eyes, stop our words, breathe deeply, and hear the Lord speak to us and whisper in our hearts, do not be afraid. Amen. Following the example of St. Joseph, who finally trusted God, we join our voices in prayer as we present our petitions to God. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, may the Holy Spirit bless him as he shares Joseph's life of faith and obedience to God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those in leadership positions in our country and throughout the world, may God encourage them in their decision-making and help them meet the needs of their people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who deal with chronic illnesses, may Christ be the healer who bring them relief and give them the strength they, they need to endure. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For families in our faith community, may the Holy Family intercede for them in all their needs. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may they rejoice with Saint Joseph and the community of saints in the heavenly kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For wisdom for all those who work to find solutions for our worldwide health issues and for generous open spirits as we adapt to new practices for the public safety, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we are praying for the special intention of this holy sacrifice of Mass for Jared Cheon and Joseph and Franciszek Kizek, Krizek, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we offer these prayers in gratitude for all you have done. Hear them and answer us. We pray through Jesus, your Son. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, for the fruit of the earth and work of human hands become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, through the vines and work of human hands, become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice of your hands, hands the praise, praise and glory of God's name, name for our good, good and all God's holy church. church. We pray, O Lord, <clears throat> that just as St. Joseph served with loving care your only begotten Son, born of the Virgin Mary, so may we be worthy to minister with a pure heart at your altar through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, and on the solemnity of St. Joseph, to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you, a spouse to Virgin Mother of God, and set us as wise and faithful servant in charge of your household, to watch like a father over your only begotten Son, who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions, adores, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship to, together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for the many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Arthur our Bishop, and all the clergy, religious, and faithful everywhere. 
Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your love. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all so that with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the saints, and all those who have pleased you throughout time, may we too share eternal light and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with yourself. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away, away the, the sins, sins of, of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you take, take away the sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Defend with unfailing protection, O Lord, we pray, the family you have nourished with food from this altar. As they rejoice at the solemnity of St. Joseph, and they graciously keep safe your gifts among them, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Stay safe at home. God bless you. Amen. And now, of course, an announcement. Uh, first of all, uh, this people have asked, where is this Mass happening? This is uh, the chapel in the Malloy Center. Uh, it's a small little chapel we have. And in the future, soon, uh, we'll uh, show you it uh, when it's not set up like this so that you can see where the Mass is coming from. And on the weekend, the Mass will come from uh, the church so that you feel you're in a space you recognize. Um, <clears throat> and secondly, people asked, where is Father Kevin at these masses? Uh, well, he uh, is retired, obviously, and so half the week he always went to his uh, condo in Suskis County, and uh, that's where he went Monday, as he normally did. And he's going to stay there, though, uh, for the duration of this uh, period in our history in order so that he, he's perfectly healthy, he wants to stay that way. So he's gone up there where he can, uh, you know, be um, uh, safe. And we miss him, so pray for him too. Thank you. <laughs>